fellow knowledgers and lovers. In this Hedonian episode, we are going to talk about love. Have you ever wondered why is the romantic harmony between a girl and a guy is usually referred to as chemistry? Why chemistry is relevant? Is love just another chemical reaction which can be adjusted either by catalysis or inhibition? You can start. It's all about chemistry. Who hasn't heard of love at first sight? Unfortunately, that is just a misconception. Because technically, what actually happens is love at first is less. And the reaction proceeds as following. The body releases some odorless substances along with what are called pheromones. Pheromones are kind of genetic maps to our bodies, containing information about our health and our immune system. These pheromones are detected by some receptors in the olfactory nerves inside the nodes of the opposite sex. Then, a part of the brain analyzes these signals to help choose a partner with the best possible genomes for our children. As long as there is no match, nothing happens. But once a match is found, certain glands are signaled to flood the brain with endorphins, dopamine, serotonin, and phenylethylamine. These are the very same substances the brain releases at the moment of happiness, joy, excitement, or gas, or while eating a yummy cheeseburger. The rush of these substances in the brain causes the supercalifragilisticexpialidocious feeling called love. So all these lovely feelings are generated during the presence of your new body name. But once you are apart, you experience the terrible symptoms of withdrawal because your brain stops releasing these substances, which are, by the way, highly addictive and always give you want more. Just like cocaine. That's why you long before reconnecting that pheromone's contact, which triggers the secretion of the molecules of happiness in your brain. Adrenaline is released into the blood. Your heart pounds. You feel unbearable longing. The night gets sleepless and longer, and you count the few seconds to the next rendezvous. Fortunately, love is not just like any other drug, which your body will get used to and eventually doesn't respond to. Actually, love is only stronger with me. As a lifetime bonding we refer to as love making. During intercourse, all partners' pituitary glands release a substance called oxytocin, the bonding hormone. It is the very same hormone that binds us to our mother as newborn. Besides the stabilized release of serotonin, our love goes into a roof of rainbow for a happy life. In the nutshell, love happens when we feel happy with a person. And this happens only when his or her genomes complement ours, resulting in a healthy thing. After all, it seems that love is just the mother nature's way to induce us to do what is ultimately the best. Now being aware of the shocking fact that love is just another chemical reaction, you must be asking, can we synthesize these messengers of love called pheromones, which started it all? In other words, is it possible to prepare a potion that causes love to make any girl or guy falls instantly and insanely in love with you? Well, it is possible to synthesize artificial pheromones, but pheromones must be customized for each case. This follows the famous chemical principle of the lock and key. No matter how similar all locks and keys may seem, there is only one key for each lock. In the same way, pheromones must be tailored to complement the DNA of the person to be romantically captured. And there is absolutely no such thing as male pheromones which will work with every girl, or female ones which will work with all guys. So don't fall for the con artists who are trying to sell what they claim to be pheromones extracted from sexy individuals. Even if they somehow manage to extract pheromones from some extremely handsome, super hot, ultra sexy people, which reminds me of that episode from French about a deformed crazy chemist hunting for hobby couples to kill the guys, sucking the pheromones out of their bodies so that he can experience some moments of romance with their widowed wives. How free. Even this won't grant you much of an advantage because of the look and key thing we have just explained. Another important fact about Vermont 
is that they are odorless. So the scents from the perfume brands, which are rumored to have some knowns in them, are certainly not from the claimed pheromonic ingredients. Bottom line, love can be both. It can only be made. Thanks for watching. Peace.